Hi, this is Tracy Lunetti from the LBS team. I'm posting here from Valerie. So as you can see, it's a beautiful day. So I thought I would share this with you wherever you're watching it from. Um, today, I just thought I'd do an impromptu live video because this week has been really busy with lots of paperwork frustrations and I wanted to share that with you. On my newsletter that I sent out this week, I'm trying to share a lot of content with you and some tips, but it's so difficult to get so much information across and quickly, so what is a better way than this? So on this beautiful day, some of the key frustrations this week we've been dealing with in this CFE, the professional tax for you entrepreneurs out there, and the CFE has to be paid on the 15th of December every year except for the first year of business so um, if it's your first year in 2016 you don't need to worry about it until next year however it is an online declaration and this year the pr frustrations again has been with um, getting access to the online account so the key problems are either you've changed your address and you haven't informed them or B, you have a problem, a technical problem. So the best way around that is obviously change your address with the CFE, or even more importantly, just send an email to your tax office. They respond pretty quickly. Don't even try calling them, it's a bad time. Just send them an email, let them know you haven't received it, or pop into your local tax office and you can pay directly with them. That'll save you having a 10% fine. CFE, very important, which really links into the problem with most people is when they change their address, they think if they send a letter to the tax off, that will suffice, but it isn't what happens. You have to send a P2, P4 to the CFE and get them to change your address, and that then passes through to the tax system. So do, do, do change your business address. Don't wait for two years like a lot of people do, or a year, and then just think it will all work out on its own. It doesn't. We're in France, unfortunately. Um, another problem we've been having this week is with, oh gosh, um, the Chamber of Metier, the wonderful CFE Chambre de Metier in the Salon de Var. I've been to a couple of times this week. Bad affiliations, when you set your business up, if you don't have the right category, you can be set up with the wrong uh, CFE. So today, I've spent this week, I've spent a lot of time sorting those problems out. If you don't, if you set a business up and you don't receive any information from either the RSI or from the INSEE, it means something's got wrong. You know, don't just sit on your paperwork and hope it'll just like work out because it doesn't. Again, we're in France, so top tip is if you haven't received anything, go back to your local CFE. It could be the Chambre de Métier for Artisan Activities. It could be Airsaf if you're a consultant, or obviously the Chambre de Commerce if you have a boutique or some sort of commercial business. Don't wait around, just go and see them. Um, let's give them some work. Um, and also, oh yes, the famous can't be tall. This is like a real frustration for most customers out there. And really what I wanted to pass the message across is, you can't be tall is not the most important thing to have. What's important to have is access to healthcare in France, and there are different ways to get access to healthcare. The carte vitale just facilitates the repayments of your healthcare. So don't focus on your carte vitale, focus on getting on your healthcare in France. That will really make life easier. Once you have your healthcare in France, then you ask for the carte vitale. And once again, it doesn't always happen automatically. So you do have to make the calls with the CPM if you're a salaried person, the RSI or the RAM if you like, if you're working as a business. So there's quite a lot of tips I can give you. If you want to get some tips on my newsletter, then just drop a, a message onto my website or through the email or on my Facebook page. If you have any questions, please leave messages below or call me or email me. I'd be lovely to give you some uh, some more tips but and get more across on the video than I can through a newsletter. So hence I'm trying to do a bit of both. Anyway, hope some of that information is useful for you. One last little word of advice. If you're going for a cat to say you're European because of the Brexit, um, if you're going to the prefecture, I would say when you go through the first step, tell them you're going for a first request. And when you go through to the second level, say you're going for a permanent one. Because if you ask for a permanent one up front, they're really going to say no to start with. So ask, say it's a first request, and when you go through to the next level, say it's a permanent one. Just a little, little tip from Tracy Lunetti. Hope to see you soon. Bye.